The oldest person to sign this document was 81 years old. The person who hand wrote it was paid $30. And you can purchase your own copy of this document with bids starting at just $1 million. What is it? Find out next on Sarah's Wiki Corner Podcast. It is time for Sarah's Wiki Corner. Hello, Sarah. Hello. Hello. What are we learning about today on your Wiki Corner? Well, today's a national holiday. I don't know if you knew that or not. But today's Constitution Day. Constitution Day. Constitution Day, Day. yes. Love it. Uh, It commemorates the signing of our Constitution on September 17th, 1787. Wonderful. Yes. So the Constitution, Constitution, yes. (laughs) Starting off really strong here, um, of the United States is the supreme law. Of the United States. It superseded the Articles of Confederation, the nation's first constitution, on March 4th, 1789. Originally including seven articles, the Constitution delineates the frame of the federal government. Mm. The drafting of the Constitution, often referred to as its framing, was completed at the Constitutional Convention, which assembled at Independence Hall in Philadelphia between May 25th and September 17th of 1787. Okay. Delegates to the convention were chosen by the state legislatures of 12 of the 13 original states. Rhode Island refused to send delegates. Why? What was up with the Rhode Island? I don't know. Didn't, didn't they want like to be the original part of draft? It. They didn't I want guess. to yeah, yeah. do it without us. We're calling in sick. The convention's initial mandate was limited to amending the Articles of Confederation, which had proven highly ineffective in meeting the young nation's needs. Mm. Almost immediately, however, delegates began considering measures to replace the articles altogether. One of the primary motivations for starting from scratch was uh, money. Oh. As is so often a motivation. Yes. At the time, the central government was mired in debt from the Revolutionary War. Uh, While the federal government could request money from the states, uh, states were under no obligation to pay. And Rhode Island was already putting up an attitude. That's so forget right. Rhode Island. That's right. They're definitely not. So they're like, there. we're just going to write a new, a whole new constitution. Start from Start scratch. Right. Go for it. So the U.S. Constitution has four thousand four hundred words. It is the oldest constitution of any major government in the world. Hmm. The original U.S. Constitution was handwritten on five pages of parchment by a guy named Jacob Shallis, oh. who served as assistant clerk to the Pennsylvania General Assembly. Imagine think- that. That would be a very like if you, what if you messed up? There was no, you couldn't, you couldn't go back. They probably got the best guy on this job. You yeah. Know? I mean, the guy who he had written a lot of things, probably a lot of letters, poetry, perhaps. Maybe. And they said that guy's got neat handwriting. Bring him in. Yeah. To do this job. Well, he was paid thirty dollars, which is the equivalent of just over a thousand dollars today for his work. And so, a heck of a story. Not though. bad. He gets to tell everybody. Look, guess what I wrote. Guess what I did. I was the dude yeah. that wrote that. He couldn't be left-handed though. He wouldn't. It would they would smudgy. Yeah. He yeah. was definitely, he had to be right-handed. The left-handed people, they were sent to Australia, weren't they? Is that? I think they were, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> they were banished to Canada? Yeah, something like some that. Some other nation. Uh, the U.S. Constitution <laughs> was written in the same Pennsylvania State House where the Declaration of Independence was signed and where George Washington received his commission as commander of the Continental Army. Mm. So two of America's founding fathers did not sign the Constitution. Thomas Jefferson was representing uh, his country in France and John Adams was doing the same. Over in Great Britain. Oh, at 81, road. Benjamin Franklin of Pennsylvania was the oldest delegate at the Constitutional Convention. And at 26, Jonathan Dayton of New Jersey was the youngest. Wait, so 81, That's what was the average life expectancy back in? A lot younger than that, I bet. Yeah, so this dude, yeah. was he was super old yeah. for that time. And there were six men who signed both the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. Okay. Since the Constitution became operational in 1789... More than 11,000 amendments have been introduced in Congress. Jeez. 33 have gone to the states to be ratified, and 27 have received the necessary approval from the states to actually become amendments to the Constitution. 11,000? That's a lot. That's crazy. You throw a lot of stuff at the wall, you see what sticks. Yeah, you see which ones throw it. Right. Throw it. Throw it. The first 10 amendments, known collectively as the Bill of Rights, offer specific protection of individual liberty and justice and place restrictions on the powers of government within the U.S. states. The majority of the uh, 17 later amendments expand individual civil rights protections. Others address issues related to federal authority or modify government processes and procedures. And there was only one amendment to the Constitution that has been repealed. Yes. And that was, do you know? Yep, but I'll the, let you say it. The 18th, which the was uh, prohibition. T- pre- yes. Yeah. Get that out of yeah, get, get that, that, get that out of yeah. here. Come on. Today, the original Constitution is on display at the National Archives in Washington, D.C., when the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, it was moved for a time to Fort Knox for safekeeping. Now, an ultra-rare copy 
of the Constitution will be going up for auction later this month. Really? The document is one of eight surviving signed copies of the proposed Constitution that were uh, sent to each of the 13 original states for ratification. It is also the only one that's currently held in private hands. The other seven are publicly owned. It was found in an old filing cabinet in 2022. Are you kidding me? At a plantation estate in Edenton, North Carolina, that was formerly owned by the governor of North Carolina. Oh, all right. Yeah. So they just found it. Old file cabinet. In an old filing cabinet. Hanging files. Uh, If you're interested in in possibly owning a piece of American history, the bidding starts at a million dollars. Million dollars for a piece of history? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I can't swing it, but. It's not bad. I mean, for such a limited... It's probably going to go for way more than that. ...document. Yeah. Imagine they're just sitting in a file cabinet. Go check your file cabinets at home. You don't know what's in there. You might have a... Who knows? Who knows? Who knows what you might have there? (laughs) All right. You picked out a record to go along with the uh, Constitution, did you say? Yeah. So I thought we'd play a song uh, for with one of the uh, amendments, right? So we're going to play a song uh, for the Fifth Amendment, which protects your right uh, from self-incrimination. Shut your mouth. Exactly. So we're going to play Silence is Golden <laughs> by Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons. We'll do it, Sarah. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. I, plead I, wasn't the fifth. That, I wasn't saying that to you. No. To shut your mouth. No. Plead the fifth. Plead the fifth, Sarah. Plead the fifth. That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Well, oh, it was very interesting. Yep. Yeah. Rhode yeah. Island, a stick in the mud. Always. What's up with the Rhode Island? What's the deal? This is why nobody really respects Rhode Island these days. Started back then. We talked about Rhode Island not that long ago. You did. Not an island. It is not an island, but there is. There is a Rhode Island, right? In Rhode Island. In Rhode yeah, Island, but it's not. But the, but the state, state is, is not, not an island. island. <laughs> yep. Oh, what a peculiar state. Yeah. That was was that shortly after you had been there. It was. Yeah. yeah. It was. Yeah, but I don't know why. Why did you talk about it? Was it my misnomers? Theme week. Great theme week. That was a good thing. One of my favorites. That was a good one. Love a good misnomer. Yeah, who doesn't? Who doesn't love a good misnomer? Listen, so did you hear Maggie's impossible question today? I must ask you. I did not, 20... but, I, but I saw I saw what it was. Oh, you saw what it was. 26% of women dream about this on a regular basis. They're dreaming about buying shoes. Like, I'm like not like physically like going to sleep and having a dream about shoes, but, but or about like purchasing just, the shoes. You're just dreaming. This is about purchasing shoes. Is it a rush when you buy shoes as a lady? I mean. Really? Is it really? I I, 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 I like buying shoes. How often, how many pairs of shoes do you own? I'd rather not say. Is it in it's the dozens? Mm, it depends. You see, here's the thing. It's Where's the thing? seasonal. Okay, you don't understand because you wear the same shoes every day, winter, spring, summer, fall. Rain or shine. Rain or shine. It's very different for me and for women, most women. What are you wearing? What are you wearing today? What shoes do you got on? Summer sandals. Oh, okay. But soon I will be transitioning to fall footwear. And then it'll be winter, <laughs> which will be boots. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's very seasonally dependent. Okay. Okay. But it's a rush when you buy shoes. A rush? Well, if you're dreaming about it, like there know. must be something associated with that that makes it, you know, dream worthy. I don't know. Either you do it all the time and you dream about it, or it's something that's so special that Maybe you, you dream just about need it. them really bad. Like See, the that's change. when I buy shoes is when I need them really bad. Oh, that's that's when guys buy shoes. You don't buy them when you need them really bad. That's true. Because you don't have you don't end up with dozens when you buy them when you own, when you need them really bad. You're an right. addiction. It's not an addiction. It's necessary for the seasons. Okay. Okay. If it was like, if we lived in San Diego. Yes. It would be much different. You should be barefoot in San Diego. You ready to go? <laughs> Legends 1027. It's uh, Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons there. And silence is golden. Sarah, do remind us, why did we just play that record? Well, because today's Constitution Day. Sure is. So we are talking about the Constitution. Love the Constitution. Who Let's doesn't? recap three things we must take away from today's Wiki Corner. Are you ready? I am ready. Go. All right. The U.S. Constitution is the oldest constitution of any major government in the world. Six men signed both the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. And since 1789, more than 11,000 amendments have been introduced in Congress, but only 27 have been introduced. There you go. They trimmed the fat. That's a lot to go that through. 11,000? 
Good guy. I wonder how many get in- introduced, you know, in a, you know, in an annual period. That we that, don't hear about? That we don't hear about. <laughs> It's got to be, I mean, 11, I mean, could you talk, it's got to be something really, really big and something really, really important. Right. 11,000? Good yeah. golly. That's a lot. Yeah. That is a lot. So if you want to learn more about the Constitution, Sarah, where do they go? What do they do? You can go to my wiki blog. Yes. If you go to legends1027.com on the homepage, there yeah. is a link that takes you to my blog where I post everything I talk about every day. It's up there. Plus, we do this on live Facebook Live, so you can see behind the scenes. Facebook.com sure slash legends1027 every weekday at 410. And it gets archived up on YouTube. Go to YouTube and search Sarah's Wiki Corner. You'll see the whole archive there, the behind the scenes conversations, all of that. Uh, out there uh, on YouTube. Wonderful. Uh, back tomorrow, fresh episode at 410. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. Thank you, Sarah. Traffic, weather on the way. Tracy Chapman coming up. And uh, something from America as well. Speaking of the Constitution, we're going to play the group America coming Great. up. So patriotic today. Love it. On Legends 1027.